What's going on everybody? This is Mason. You're tuning into the YouTube channel Wasatch Pop Guys. Hope you're having a fantastic day, fantastic week. Thank you for taking time out of your day to watch this video. Guys, happy 2022 guys. It is the new year and I couldn't be more excited for, you know, this upcoming year and the future of this channel. There are a lot of things that I've kind of put in mind as notes of things that I want to do improve on the channel guys. And I wanted to make you guys accountable for me. One of the big goals that I want to have is I want to reach like 50,000 subscribers, which would be awesome. And you know, always up the quality of the videos. Those are two of my biggest goals, but I'd also like to involve you guys more in videos as well. So whatever that may be, let me know in the comment section below what you would suggest to, you know, help involve you guys more, even more into the channel. So today's Funko Pop hunt is pretty sweet. I'm actually really excited about it. There is an awesome Facebook marketplace deal that I come across and I come across some pops that I've been wanting to add to my collection for quite some time now. It's something that I really loved watching actually during the pandemic and I actually had the opportunity to get these guys from this line of pops for a really good price. We also pick up a couple of random things here and there, but that is pretty much essentially what we're doing here in the video. But all right guys, without any further ado, let's get into the video. Here we go. Starting things off at Target guys, they have a couple of new things that I noticed right out the bat, so let me show it to you. So first up, they have this Ginny Weasley with Flourish and Bloss. This is kind of like the Pop Deluxe thing that they've got with like a bunch of different Harry Potter sets. They had a Green Gots one as well. So this is another one, a part of that set. They also have Madam Web from the new Spider-Man series, which is pretty cool. That is a, definitely a fun one. And then down here guys, they have Hobgoblin and Black Cat. I think I might pick up Pop Goblin today. This is definitely a really cool one to see here. I was hoping that they'd have Spider-Man, but I don't see him. But yeah, guys, other than these ones that I just found, I'm gonna pick up one for me and one for my buddy. That seems to be it here at Target so far. All right, you guys know it's not a video unless we go to my favorite mall of all time. <laughs> Honestly, right after Christmas, it's so busy. Now is not even a great time to even go, but we are still here and we're gonna see if there's anything good. Topic was the only place that I went to, guys, but they had some restocks on the sexy Ned Flanders, which was really cool to see. So I picked that up for my brother-in-law. He's a huge Simpsons fan. And then they had this Fire Force figure. Don't know much about it, but it looks really, really cool. And uh, yeah, they got a bunch of like pop pins in, but that was pretty much it at the mall and hot topic. Okay, before we get to the Facebook Marketplace deal, guys, I wanna break this down a little bit. So I came across this listing, it probably been up for like a week or so, and it just said, hey, I'm looking to get rid of some of my Funko Pop collection. Basically had a picture of like, it looked like a closet or something that he had in like his garage, just full of Funko Pops, and he had some pretty good listed things, and he said, half off of PPG. So I couldn't resist that. I saw a couple of things that I was picking up, and well, I figured it was worth the drive. It was probably like a 40 minute drive or so, but uh, let's hop over to the footage and check out what he has. How's it going? Good. Thanks for letting me uh, stop by over here. <laughs> Pretty good, how was yours? Yeah. Oh my gosh, you got tons of stuff. So were you a big time, or were you a big time collector and stuff? Yeah, or? I mean, yeah. I, I still, I still have a passion for <laughs> my wife. To be on me, so <laughs> okay. Last, last year, after okay. Anything, just been, uh, gotcha. Well, you have some good stuff that I've been looking for. At least like some of this Futurama stuff right here. Got some rolls. I was gonna pull it out. Oh, okay. Yeah, I just that I kind of just threw that on you. I didn't expect you yeah, to get yeah, out I'm anything. Not, or, not even tripping. Okay. So you just keep all your col well, well, I guess it is your collection. You kept it all out here, right, and everything. Yeah. Oh, okay. But well, you got some good stuff. Like some of the old. Like the Sesame Street stuff. What was like some of the big stuff that you collected and everything? Um, some of the, um, I don't know, I just, you know, going for chasing and okay. different little things. I, I, I got some other ones that are like my, my horror story. American Horror Story? American Horror Story. Okay. Some of, some of those are older and a little bit harder to find for sure. Yeah, I don't know, I got different ones that are in here. I just I really have to look on the app once I put them in. Yeah. Too, Speedy Gonzalez and different little stuff like that. So do you do you have all those Looney Tunes ones then? Like, because I, I I almost have all of them. There's a couple that I'm missing. I, I, I haven't. I don't, oh, okay. I don't I don't even think I have any Looney Tunes. Okay, and then I'm gonna do a voiceover over here, guys. But 
either way, they had a lot of really cool stuff. We were just kind of talking about everything about his collection, and I just figured I'd do a voiceover at this part. But as you can see, this collection is massive. And um, yeah, he just has like, like he said, this is just put everything into his closet or everything. He didn't really have a good way to store everything. But yeah, if, if you just want to take a look like that, Loki is definitely a really cool pop for sure. Um, Black Panther, the Walmart one. I actually remember finding this one in store. So that was a cool one to see for sure but um yeah it was just cool talking to him you know and kind of all the different things that he went through in collecting and everything but he definitely has an epic collection guys lots of really cool stuff to look through for sure do you have any uh like original nickelodeon pops or anything like that or oh no man oh, okay i can't even think of what original type of old school stuff that i do have that i could yeah throw at you, you know yeah for sure oh this is a cool one though time machine marty mcfly i know that one's a harder one to find that one's pretty sweet. Hey, you got a lot of good stuff. I mean, everything together, put in categories. I bet people will be all over this yeah, stuff. Yeah, that's probably what I need to do. I'd yeah. yeah, some of these you don't see very often, like super bad ones. Those are pretty good. McLovin, Angel, that's pretty cool. But yeah, I would highly suggest hopping on Whatnot and auctioning off some of your stuff. I think that would be pretty beneficial. So when did you get this one? How old is this one, the Jet, do you think? It's gotta be a couple I'm years older. Sure. I just happened to uh, see it. I got it, I wanna say, at least uh, about five years ago. Yeah, okay. I was gonna say, cause I remember seeing that in a shop at least somewhere. I don't remember where I saw it, but that is definitely a cool one though. The dorms. Yeah, those kind of faded out a little yeah, bit. Exactly. I I haven't seen any good ones. They had a couple of them that they said they was, but then as soon as I got it, yeah. yeah. the price went down. <laughs> have you done, have you looked into Funko Sodas at all? Have you heard of those before? No, yeah, I've seen them, but I haven't, are they nope. going up? Oh, they're, they're really cool, yeah. They're, they're starting to be pretty popular. I haven't grabbed the sodas. Yeah, the sodas, the sodas are really big because they're like limited pieces and stuff. Oh. So they'll only make like 8,000 of them and then they have like a one in six chance of a chase. And so oh, that's why they're really big. So. Oh, that's cool. See, I don't yeah. know that. See, I yeah. like stuff like that. No, you have this one. This is one that I've been looking for too. You big Parks and Rec guy? Yeah, yeah. I love Parks and Rec. <laughs> they're pretty hilarious. Yeah, they are. <laughs> oh my gosh, you got tons of stuff. My goodness. All right, guys, this collection is insane. Holy crap. All right, guys, I just got done over there. So the guy's name found out is Ryan, really awesome guy. Was a collector in the past. He kind of collects things off and on now, but he's looking to sell a bunch of stuff. And so he helped me out on some Futurama Pops, guys, and he gave me a pretty solid deal on these. So I'll kind of pull these out and we'll talk about these a little bit more when we get home. But we've got Professor Farnsworth, Zap Brannigan. We also have Zoidberg, which was one that I needed. And we also have Taranga Leela. And I also picked up this two pack from him as well, which is the John Ralphio and um, Tom two pack. So, and I got a pretty good deal. So all together on all of these guys, I ended up getting them for 120 bucks. So we did 30 for this, and then it was like 90 for these four. So since these Futurama Pops are kind of a little bit harder to find now, I thought that was an awesome deal. But yeah, guys, like I said, we'll talk about it a little bit more when we get home, but I am super excited. Ryan, thank you so much for letting me kind of show off a couple of things and let me purchase these. All right, guys, I'm back. So uh, let's take a look at the things that I ended up picking up. Okay, first off, guys, we got this thing from Target. We have the Hobgoblin Target exclusive from the new, well, not the new, but the new line of animated Spider-Man pops. So this is actually a really cool one. Um, I picked up one for a buddy and one for me, which I think these look awesome. I still need to find Spider-Man that is on the back right here, guys. That's mainly what I collect. Uh, I do a couple villains here and there, you know, but this is definitely, I think, an improvement from the Hobgoblin that they've done before. The overall sculpt, the mold and everything looks awesome. The dynamic pose that he has on that little glider with the smoke coming out from under him. I think it looks awesome. Overall, a really cool pop and um, definitely a really good score. Glad I was able to find it in store. Okay, so onto the Facebook Marketplace listing stuff, guys. That was really cool of him to help me out, you know, get a good deal on everything. And he said he's willing to do deals on pretty much anybody that comes across 
his collection wanting to buy stuff. So all, um, if you're from Utah, I'll, um, you know, reach out to him and send it, send whoever the Facebook listing, you can get in contact with him. If you saw something that you would like from that collection. So thing number one guys was this two pack from Emerald City Comic Con. This is the Parks and Rec, John Ralphio and Tom two pack guys this is such a cool two pack he gave me a really solid deal on this as well i think he ended up doing pretty much retail i think he did 30 dollars for this which i think that's what it probably went for um when it's a con exclusives are around 30 dollars for a two pack so yeah this was definitely at retail this is an awesome pop guys or i guess pops because it's a two pack but a uh, tom and john ralphio kind of such an interesting pair guys but i do have to say for all you parks and rec fans out there this uh two pack is the absolute worst the worst she's the worst in the world okay that was the <laughs> That was a terrible joke, but if you know, you know. But this is the only way that you can get Tom and John Ralphio is only in a two pack, which is interesting that they haven't made more Tom Pops since he's such a big character in the show. Anyways, I was really glad to pick this up and my Park and Parks and Rec collection is definitely getting pretty close to being complete. And then the set that I was really excited about to pick up guys is this right here. These four Pops from Futurama are ones that I was definitely needing. So there's a couple that I have in my collection. I believe I have Fry. I have Nibbler, I have an out of box bender and I definitely needed those ones. So there's one more that I need after these, but let's kind of break these down a little bit. So this right here is Leela. So she is basically like Fry's sidekick. If you haven't really seen, you know, Futurama or whatever, she's the pilot of the ship. She kind of is like the, you know, the one that has all the fighting skills and stuff like that. Hi. But this is definitely a really cool pop and I got it for an awesome deal guys. Like I said, he did, I think it was about maybe even a little bit more than 50% off of PPG, but we also have Zap Brannigan. He's kind of like the guy that thinks he's like really all that in a piece of pie, but <laughs> he's kind of lame. Everybody just thinks he's kind of stupid. <laughs> Up here in the clouds, our technology makes us invincible, like the mighty X in tic-tac-toe. But, you know, I had to pick him up for the set. Um, the box, you know, a little bit damaged right there, but not, you know, not terrible for me. Throw these guys in a pop protector. Um, these two are probably my favorite out of the set uh, right here. So we have Professor Farnsworth. What's the matter, Compressor? Nothing's the matter, Fry. Now that I've turbocharged the matter, Compressor. So he's the brains of the whole uh, operation in Futurama. He is also Fry's, like, relative, basically. Fry's older than him, even though, yeah, you just have to see the show. Anyways, guys, uh, this is definitely a really fun pop. I'm glad to add that one to the collection. And also, can't forget about Zoidberg. Probably one of the most random, weird characters in the whole show, but I love how this turned out. I love how they kind of have him in a crouching pose, and he's got his little, like, kind of crab arms and everything but that is definitely zoidberg to a t <laughs> so now basically i think well technically i still need a uh, bender in box and everything i also need the robot devil and my base set would be complete obviously you know there's other con exclusives and everything like that that i could add to the collection but these are definitely you know awesome ones that i got for a really solid price and like i said guys if there's anything that you're looking for in that collection utah wise local pickup definitely i can send you a link to the facebook marketplace listing and everything like that but really solid pickup for sure i'm excited about these but overall guys that's gonna do it for the first video of the new year guys like i said i am very excited for this upcoming year and all the different things that you know i have planned and everything but let me know in the comment section below what was your favorite thing from that facebook marketplace find that i got was there anything that i should have picked up or anything that i passed up that you guys thought was really cool let me know in the comment section below if you enjoyed this video give it a thumbs up be sure to subscribe so you don't miss out on any future videos like this one guys thank you so much for watching again you guys are awesome and the best like always remember to be kind of one another always promote positivity i will see you in the next video catch you guys later